hey, here's a fun story. Um, RFK got caught on the phone with Donald Trump. His son, his son posts to social media what was supposed to be a private conversation. I'm a firm believer that these sorts of conversations should be had in public. Here's Trump giving his real opinion to my dad about vaccinating kids, which is obviously wrong. For uh, if you want the truth about all of this, just visit the CDC and they'll they'll give you everything you need to know. Oh this, yeah, yeah, everything you need to know. Safe and effective. Absolutely. This was the day after the assassination attempt. If I violated some kind of law in posting this, my only wish is to have Dr. Anthony Fauci as my cellmate. You know, okay, these these Kennedys. I'm telling you, we did a whole segment about the Kennedys. What the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I mean, I don't even know if I buy this. I don't even know if I this. His kid posted it. I mean, it's just so crazy. This is not a cheap fake or somebody doing a Trump voice. This is the real deal. He could have picked a unity ticket. Instead, he picked JD, fire the all, all the unvaccinated nurses, Vance. Two parties indivisible under Pfizer with liberty and justice for some. Okay, apparently, and this, this occurred to me as soon as I read that tweet where JD Vance says, the tweet that JD Vance wrote was, Hospitals are being overwhelmed uh, as cases spike, and so why don't we fire all the unvaccinated nurses? That seemed like sarcasm, and apparently reporting is that it was sarcasm. We talked about this on RV Ham show. Like, hey, if mm -hmm. the hospitals are overwhelmed, why are you firing nurses? Right, right. He wasn't actually advocating for that. This is what I mean, man. These people, they're they're fucking liars. I'm sorry. These people are just they're fucking liars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, why don't why yeah. don't you yell at us again for pointing out that the <laughs> yeah. RFK campaign is a complete waste of time, geniuses? Yeah, man, something's wrong with that whole system. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and it's the doctors you fight. Forgive the lack of volume here. Nothing we could do. Doses. When you when you feed a baby, Bobby. Uh, a vaccination that has like 38 different vaccines and it looks like it's meant for a horse not a you know 10 pound or 20 pound baby it looks like you're giving you should be giving a horse this and, and you, do you ever see the size of it right you know it's this massive and then you see the baby all of a sudden starting to change radically i've seen it too many times and then you hear that it doesn't have an impact right but you and i talked about that a long time ago and uh, anyway, I would be, I would love you to do something. And I think it'll be so good for you and so big for you. And we're going to win. We're going to yeah. win. You know, we're way ahead of the guy. And, uh, you know, he's interesting. He was very nice, actually. He called me and he said, uh, how did you choose to move to the right? Cause, you know, so I guess that's, people see it. You know, if I was looking straight up, right? He said, how did I said, I was just showing a chart. I didn't have to tell him the chart was on all the people pouring into our country. But, but uh, now I could have just turn my head to show the chart. And something wrapped me. It, it felt like a giant, like the world's largest mosquito. <laughs> and uh, it, was, it was a bullet going around. You know, it was, what do they call that, an AR-15 or something? That was a big gun. Those are pretty, pretty tough guys, right? It's a pretty tough gun. Uh, the guy is a fucking character, man. The guy is just a fucking character. He is like, he is a fucking, I mean, this guy is a character out of a sitcom. He gets shot in the ear from 150 yards away. It felt like a big mosquito bit me on the ear. And apparently it's an AR-15. It's a, it's a tough gun. Pretty tough yeah, gun. That, 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 was like a, that was like a jerky boys call. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it was like a jerky boys call. That's exactly what it sounds you like. Get, you get a, you get a, you get a few of those guns together. You get together. You get, you get your little brats there. Make them men. Yeah, exactly. Give them a couple of those guns. Give them those guns. A couple of vaccines. They'll be ready for anything. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So before we go any further, you know, it's funny. People mentioned uh, earlier that uh, you know Russ has taken over the show. So this is this is a little lesson in providing context for YouTube. This is this is context for YouTube. Uh, whatever Trump said about the vaccines is not endorsed by this program. Go to the CDC nope. and refer to them for any and all uh, medical advice that you may seek. See, that's called that's called a Nor CYA. Is it endorsed move. by any of our subsidiaries. Yes, exactly. That's that's what we have to do to get that out of the way. All right. Now that that bookkeeping is done, I don't know if Trump, I mean, a Trump apparently reporting was that Trump was trying to secure RFK's endorsement because RFK went to Milwaukee for the RNC. And it seemed like Trump was trying to butter him up there, maybe saying, look, this will be really good for you. We don't have that part of the call, but this will be good for you if you drop out 
and endorse me because we're going to win. And then RFK says, yeah, we're going to win. So the lib media is up in arms about that because they're saying that this proves that Mm-hmm. You know, RFK is basically doing a rat fuck on the campaign and that this is all you know designed to prop up Trump. Um, but RFK apparently did not give the endorsement. Uh, RFK tweets out, when President Trump called me, I was taping with an in-house videographer. I should have ordered the videographer to stop recording immediately. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. I am mortified that this was posted. I apologize to the president. Uh-huh. Now you 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 went you went to speaker, and you had a videographer there, but you didn't notice. Yeah, why not take it off speaker? Exactly, at least yeah. take it off speaker. Yeah, yeah that's you know that's you a good were point. unaware of that. You, know you didn't what? catch that. That is an excellent point. I did not even think of that. Why is he even on speakerphone with a videographer? With in a the videographer room? watching, why would you right. put it on speaker? Why would you put it on speaker anyway? Like if it's just a phone call, why would it be on speaker? Somebody's filming you and you put you put it on speaker phone? I don't know. Maybe RFK is paranoid about the cancer and the put the, the ear, whatever, but whatever. It's a short call. Yeah, why is it on speaker phone with a camera there? I I I can I can see why some people are still hitching their star to that RFK wagon. Yeah. That was such a well run operation. He's not he is in no way a crazy, unpredictable asshole. <laughs> yeah. So this was the day before this happened. Lots of rumors going around uh, about my meeting this morning with President Trump. Our main topic was national unity, and I hope to meet with Democratic leaders about that as well. No, I am not dropping out of the race. Now, after this incident, after this leak, which was a day later, RFK's social media did go dark for about 24 hours. And uh, Link Lauren, the kid who called into our show that one time, who was – I think he worked with the RFK campaign for a while – tweeted out some speculation that because social media went dark that he was planning to drop out because of the embarrassment of this and perhaps even endorse Trump. But since then, uh, the RFK Twitter did post that he's on the ballot in North Carolina, uh, you know, um, under some party ballot line. I forget what it was. So apparently those rumors were squashed when he did, you know, resurface on social media to announce ballot access in another state does not appear that he's dropping out of the race. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, that is a massive fuck up at best. You know, <laughs> it's a theme of the show. I mean, what are you doing on speakerphone when there's a videographer rolling? I mean, what? I mean, that's just, it's just so crazy. Well, this is what I'm saying. He clearly wanted a record of it. Yeah. How did his son even get that clip? You know, exactly. like these, these people are so crazy that he could be like, Okay, I can't be seen putting this out. So you put it out and you say <laughs> you you just wanted to get the truth out there. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you know, and, yeah, uh, that could be. And, and and then he got the blowback. Oh no, that was an accident. You know, that that's this is the point we keep making with RFK. One one thing, he's batshit. And for another, he's dishonest. Like you, you don't know what these people they are aristocrats. They are aristocrats. They are a dissolute aristocracy. And the other thing that I have to say, too, from a campaign standpoint, is, you know, Trump running a much more strategic campaign this time. No doubt about it. Like, yep. definitely. Much more disciplined. Yeah. Much more disciplined. Like, he's trying to get that endorsement. He knows, okay, if we really want to lock this down, mm-hmm. we get RFK's, you know, seven out of his nine points in the polls or whatever he's got, pull them over to my side, that's checkmate. Like, you know, there actually does seem to be a real strategy at work, which was not the case in 2016. 2016 was just the Tasmanian devil. 2020, he had nothing. I mean, it was almost like he wasn't even running. It was was just bizarre how impotent that campaign was. But this time, it's it's much more disciplined, much more focused, much more Machiavellian even. Um, And, you know, I mean, it was... uh, it was worth it to try for his endorsement because that puts it on ice. And it doesn't seem like sure. it worked. It seemed like it kind of blew up in RFK's face a bit there. Um, and, but, and, you know, Trump is on there looking like Trump. Hey, it was a, like a mosquito came and bit me on yeah. the ear. <laughs> you know, like it's just, uh, just amazing. Amazing. Amazing guy. One of a kind. Please clap. Please clap.